Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect Payoneer to your Amazon KDP account. So if you're new to Amazon KDP and you don't know how to receive payment, let's say that you don't have any other account that you can use in order to receive payment on Amazon KDP and you have a Payoneer account, you can actually use your Payoneer account as a receiving account when you're trying to sell something on Amazon KDP. Now, if you haven't have any account on Amazon KDP yet, all you have to do is go to kdp.amazon.com and then you'll be able to find a sign up options. And once you do that, you can click create your KDP account, enter your email, your name and then you can also add your passwords once you're done with all of that you'll be able to see a dashboard that looks like this through this dashboard you'll be able to take a look at your bookshelf if you already have created a book beforehand and for those who don't know KDP on Amazon KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing and with this website right here, you'll be able to create a book, print it and publish it without the hassles of having to try to find the printing vendor or the publishing vendor because Amazon KDP is going to be the one who do that for you. All you have to do is just upload your file but before you create that file, what you're going to do is you're going to want to take a look at their measurement because Amazon KDP actually have a very strict measurement for books. It depends on what kind of books you want to create. For example, you want to create a coloring book or maybe a journal. They have a templates for all of those books. And all you have to do to try to find for those templates is simply type in for, let's say, Amazon KDP templates. And here you'll be able to see the KDP cover calculators. And if you click on it, you'll be able to create a template according to the type of books that you will want to create. Here we can start by the binding type. Let's say that we're going to go with paperback and then you can choose on the interior type of your book. Either it's going to be just in black and white or maybe you're going to use premium color or standard colors. I'm just going to go with the standard color and the paper type is going to be white paper and the reading directions will be left to right. As the measurement units, I'm going to use inches. And then for the interior trim size or the size of your books in general, I'm going to go with, let's say, 8.5 by 11 inch. And then here, you're also going to want to try to find for the amount, the minimum amount of pages that your books is going to need. In this case, let's say that I'm going to create a coloring book and the minimum amount of pages that I'm going to need if I want to create a coloring book is going to be 24 or 25 if I'm not wrong so I'm going to be safe and go above that let's say that I have 30 page count and then I'm going to go ahead and calculate dimension and then you're going to get a template that looks like this complete with the descriptions of the width and the heights of each element such as the cover the save area the bleed the margin the spine the barcode margin etc and all you have to do is download this template make sure to click on download template and not save the pictures that appears over here because it's going to be different from the actual templates that you will need to use so let's say that you're going to create this book with the help of canva all you have to do is just upload the downloaded templates it's usually going to be downloaded in the form of zip and then you can just extract it and upload the uh, pictures into your canva and then start working with this template as your base all right once you got 
your file for your book created it's going to appear right here it's going to show all of the book that you've already created you can also filter it by the titles you can sort it and then you can have additional filters or you can also just search the name of the book you want to find through the search bars right here once you got the product created you're going to want to setting on your payment account so you can just go to your account on the top of your screen and then we're going to want to fill in all of this data right here so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it off screen once you finish entering all of the details you can go to the next sections which is the getting paid section so here you're going to want to provide your bank information to receive electronics royalty payment because once you sell your books you're going to get royalty payments and this is where you want to insert your bank account now if you don't have a bank account you can go ahead and click on i don't have the bank account options and then through here they're going to give you a notification that says that you are set up to receive payments from sales across all Amazon's marketplace. Because Amazon's KDP is a part of Amazon, you can actually use any other type of payment that are connected into Amazon's marketplace. So it says here that customer transactions made in all marketplace across Amazon will be paid in Canadian dollars, Euro, and then Great Britain's counseling and all of these other currencies according to payments details below and it says that amazon is going to notify you by email if there's any issues paying to your bank account and here you'll be able to see another notification that says checks payment you will be paid in multiple currencies for customers transactions made in all marketplace and this checks actually requires a minimum payments threshold and you can learn about it if you click on this learn more buttons and then they're going to give you a list of amazon's marketplace that you can use if you want to connect a certain type of payment method into amazon go amazon.com amazon dot i add amazon dot co dot uk etc etc all right now when you're trying to connect your pioneer account into your amazon kdp first thing first obviously you're going to want to have a pioneer account if you haven't got one you can always register it for free by going to pioneer.com and then click on register once you're done with that you're going to be able to see a dashboard that looks like this so through here you'll be able to see on all of the balances of your pioneer and in pioneer you can actually create some account from several country all you have to do is go to get paid and then here you want to click on receiving account and you can request to create an account. I actually already have an account. I think it was under USA or in dollar currency, which is this one's right here. And so you can see I already have an account detail. So I got a bank name, I got the Swift code, I got the account number etc so what i'm going to do here is actually i'm going to insert the detail of my pioneer account into amazon kdp so here i can see that my bank is in new york so i'm going to go ahead choose united states and I'm just going to fill the other details of screen. All right, now I got the uh, Pioneer account connected into my Amazon KDP. Once you're done, you can just click on save and then continue to fill in your tax information. And that's basically it. That is how you can connect your Pioneer account into Amazon KDP. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.